Okay, so Community Shield, let's go boys, let's win this. Come on boys, I want to beat City. It's the Community Shield so people don't feel too strongly about it, but I just want to beat City. Come on boys, let's have it! Thiago. I thought you can have a crack. Go on, Mo. Oh, oh beautiful touch. Little ball roll, Trent. Oh, oh, yes! Trent! Yes! Trent, Trent, Trent Alexander Arnold! Yes! My, My club! My boy! Yes! Get in Come here! on! Yes! Come on! What a, it's oh. too early to start giving the bifters, but it's a beautiful move! Come on! I think it could. Does it come off Bobby? Nah, I don't think so. Is it Bobby oh, or is it Ake? That what a touch. It comes off someone. Ake! Ake! Ake. Posting in. Come on! <laughs> come on! That's the start we wanted! Come on! Ake, I love your head, mate. Your head is great. It's nice and sheep, isn't it? It's good shape. Silver crossed it in. No, Holland's there! Oh, oh my god! I did not think he was going to miss that I chance. Yes, here he is. Darwin Nunez. Come on, Darwin. Go on, son. I'd love for him to Nunez! 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 Into De Bruyne. No! Foden! Oh, oh Dan! No! What is it? Oh, he's off! He's off. He's, oh! off! he's off! He's off! Alvarez! Thank God for that! Julian Alvarez! No, he's no, on! No, he's on! Oh, is it a foul on Adrian? How? How is it a foul on Adrian? Is it? Wait! Two hands on the ball! Two hands on the ball! So yeah, but he, he wasn't in control of it though, was he? No, yeah, for but me, you're, you're not allowed to kick out of his hands. If he has it like that, you're not allowed to kick out of his hands. Yeah, but he wasn't in control. He didn't have it. Do you know what I mean? He didn't yeah, have yeah, it in yeah. his chest. Yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah. have it there. He, it was he loose. was bringing it and then he kicked it. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. It is what it is. And lucky Adrian. Adrian. No, that was two hands, Adrian. And lucky Adrian. He's like, ah! Guess what goal was like, oh. Go on, Mo. Go on, Mo. Go on, Mo. Please, do this! Hamble! 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 Darwin Nunez! It's a Come on! Ref! Nunez! That's Hamble! Come on! That stops his header! Come on! That stops his header! Ref! Yeah! Don't celebrate too much! But come, come on. on! Come on, score it! No, don't celebrate like that! Come on! We need to score it first! Yes, Darwin. Come, come on, come on, son. come on, come on. Good, mate. Yes. Please, please, please. Mo, Mo Salah. Please. Mo Salah's gonna take the please. penalty. It'd oh, be a I lot can't. of pressure to put Darwin on it. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mo. How are you contesting? That's not a pen, please. Come on, Mo. Oh. Mo Salah. Mo, please. Against Edison. Mo. Yes! Yes! Mo! yes! Fucking get it! In. Come on! on! Yes! Go on, the ball! Shit. <laughs> Darwin Nunez wins the penalty. What a man. Mo. What a man. And then that's a great pen. Yeah. Edison goes the right way and all. Mo Salah usually just smashes him. That's placement, yeah. that. Beautiful under pressure. Beautiful. Mo Salah, this is why we signed the contract. Come on. Go, Go on. Lovely. Yes. Carvalho. Go on, Carvalho. Go on, lad. Mo. Back stick. Robo. Darwin. Yeah. I did not expect Erling Haaland to miss that. And don't get me wrong, quality player, world class. I don't want to shit on him. He's still a young talent as well. And he's world class. I rate him. And he it's might. Done. But done. that is a bad miss. 
Yes! Come on! Yes! Darwin Nunez! Darwin motherfucking Nunez, baby! Oh, yes! Yes! Don't tell me that the community shield doesn't matter, lads! Come on! Show of class from Jurgen Klopp. Shaking all the hands of the Man City bench. Mohamed Salah scored. What could have been the winner? Darwin Nunez! Hold on, hold on. Puts the dagger in the heart. Jurgen Klopp has now won every single trophy, trophy <laughs> possible. He can win. But for now, Darwin! Talk to me now. Yeah? Talk Wait, to me you now! Know, what? What? Talk oh, to what, me oh, now! Where you now, bitch? Yeah? Shuffle the ears, yeah? Oh, Why is that flapping his face yeah. for? Avit is right! Liverpool 3, Manchester City 1 at the King Power Stadium. What a game of football. Firstly, I want to say commiserations to Manchester City, genuinely. This is why us and you have been the top dogs in the Premier League for, for the past half a decade. What a football match. Genuinely enthralling action. I couldn't take my eyes away from the screen. I mean, I wouldn't anyway because it's my club, but you just couldn't. It was end-to-end. -end. It was like a basketball game. It was phenomenal to watch, and I imagine that the neutral was well up for it. It was just amazing to care about a football match again. Not that I didn't, not that I didn't care about the preseason friendlies because it's my club and I still want my club to do well and I still want my players to do well. And I was still so excited to see Liverpool in the preseason, but I got involved in it. I was fully invested. I was cheering. I was ooing. I was ahhing. I was head in my hands. I was jumping up literally. And I know that beforehand everyone was saying that they didn't really care about the game, but when the match kicks off and the action gets underway and you have their fans chanting and your fans chanting and things happen and fouls are committed and you shouting at the screen you just get into it you get invested you can't help it if you're a football fan that's what it is that's what it is you can't fabricate it you know if things happen like that and it gets you going that's what it means to be a football fan people who don't feel that don't like football you know if, if you like football you feel it you feel it you just can't help it you can't switch it off but I thought that both teams played really really well and I know that sounds like I'm offense sitting I genuinely thought that we deserved to win it and I thought that we took the game to City and we played really well but that's not discounting Manchester City at all they're still just as dangerous you still crap your pants whenever they're on the ball because you know the quality and you know what they can do but I, I did I just thought that we were worthy winners if I'm honest our pressing was outstanding sometimes we left a little to be desired but our counter were phenomenal and electrifying. Jordan Henderson and Luis Diaz ran tirelessly, you know, to pick two individuals out. They they must be shattered. But Adrian as well, for all the stick that he gets, I thought he had a stellar game today. I thought he made some really, really good saves. And Mohamed Salah just looked dangerous whenever he touched the ball. Jurgen Klopp and his staff know what they're doing. For all the people questioning and doubting Liverpool and their recruitment team and all of this jazz and paying 65 million for Darwin Nunez that could rise to 85, that could rise rather to 85 million. They know what they're doing. Trust in Jurgen Klopp, people. And by the way, I think that Erling Haaland is an exceptional talent. Exceptional talent. I rated him fourth in the world last year. He will learn from today. He will come back better. He will learn. He'll score goals. I still think that he will score 20 plus goals in all competitions for Manchester City. Goal scorers find a way to score goals and he will be back. He will learn from today. But I said beforehand that I wanted to win this. I said after the Salzburg game that I hope that we don't have a game like that and I hope that the big boys turn up because I really wanted to win this. But yeah, I am delighted for Darwin. I'm delighted. What a way to get a shot of confidence. Scoring against Manchester City. Proving yourself. And yes, it's a community shield. Yes, it's still pre-season if you want to call it that. For me, it's the curtain raiser. It proves to himself that he can score against Manchester City. It, it proves to himself that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the league and perform really, really well. And it was just phenomenal. It was perfect. It was written in the stars that it was Darren Nunez to be there at the right place at the right time to score the poacher's goal. I thought that he had an excellent game all round, to be honest. I couldn't really pick a fault from his game today. He only played for 30 minutes, but for that entire 30 minutes, he looked amazing. He didn't look out of place at all. Didn't cower and go quiet, considering the opposition that he was facing. Made in intelligent, darting, cutting runs in between the two centre-backs, in between the lines. Pressed really well, made his aerial presence felt, won the penalty with his aerial presence and not just that, you know, the little the little cherry on top of the cake, on top of the icing, on top of the cake, got himself an injury time goal. And I know that people are going to go after his celebration. I saw that a meme account on Twitter already goes after his celebration because he scored and he's acting like he's just won the Champions League for Liverpool. Let people celebrate, people. Let players get get emotional in the moment, in the game. Let the fucking guy celebrate. Why? Why are we even watching the game if we can't get passionate about these moments? Why? Why? If you're just some bitter fucker who can't celebrate the good things because it's just pre-season or it's just a big 50p or it's just a community shield or whatever, 
Go away. The game ain't for you. Just let people celebrate. Let people feel passionate. He was feeling passionate. He's just scored a goal for his new club in a big game because it was against Tartar Rivals. Leave him be for fuck's sake. But yeah, what a club. What a club. What a curtain opener. If this is how the new season is going to be, if this is how 2022, 23 is going to be, bring it on. I'm here for it. If this is the action we're going to get, then we're going to be in for a treat. This is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. From this day forward, people, I'm declaring, I'm decreeing July 30th is now Darwin Day. Happy Darwin Day, people. What a sexy Uruguayan bastard. Get in here, my mates. At the mighty fucking Reds. You'll never walk alone.